Another quite common issue with the product photography are different kind of dust appearing on the product or maybe scratches because products were carried for a long time. So, of course, we need to take care of this. And first of all, when the dust is uh, rather big or we have big scratches like the one here, I would recommend the major uh, big things to remove manually, just as I'm doing now. And the best way to do it is to use healing brush and maybe in some other cases the clone stamp but this is important so first what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the major scratches just as i'm uh, doing now maybe also uh, take care of the edge a little bit here as you can see we have some problems and once we do it i'm going to show you amazing trick how to remove all of the scratches in no time. So as you can see, I'm just uh, looking at the major things over here. Here's quite good. So this would be it. And now I'm going to create a stamp. So I'm going to create some layer above. To do this, uh, we have to make sure that we have selected the top layer and then to create the merged layer on the top. If you work on Mac, press Command, Option, Shift and E. And if you work on the Windows, that will be Control, Alt, Shift and E. I'm going to rename this into Dust. And to make sure I will be working non-destructively because I need to apply the filter, I'm going to convert this layer to the smart object. So when I'm going to add filter, it will not affect directly this layer. Um, but it will be applied into this layer and it will be possible to edit this feather. So what I need to locate on the image, I want to have good view on some of the dust. So as you can see over here, uh, we have some of the dust spots, some of the scratches. So I'm going to filter, then noise, and I'm going to choose dust and scratches. And over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the radius that will allow to make all of the scratches invisible. So as you can see, the radius at five pixels means the effect is built around the range of the five pixels. If we have it too small, it might not be enough to remove the scratches because they're bigger than one pixel, they're bigger than two. Uh, maybe three, so five is rather big, and the threshold will bring back natural effect by building the difference. So the threshold is zero, everything is affected by the filter we applied. If we increase the threshold, only the things with the biggest difference will be affected. So as you can see, threshold five, it's still low threshold. I rather would go with higher when doing different effect. But here we work with the product. So the threshold uh, rather low around maybe five, uh, maybe six is okay. Otherwise we'll bring back the scratches here, as you can see. And it doesn't matter if we will increase the radius. So the threshold, I'm going to keep at five for this because uh, this image doesn't have to be necessarily um, very sharp. You see from the distance, this is the product and it doesn't really affect the edges as much. Have a look. So that's not bad. Of course, uh, we can improve this later. Also checking it here. Not bad, but also not ideal. So good on the top, no good on the bottom. So we are not going to apply full effect. That would be a huge mistake. I'm going to see if maybe even threshold point higher to make sure it's not too low. And the major scratches over here, we still can uh, work on. So I'm going to create a new layer mask and when it comes to the layer mask when we work with the layer mask and the color of the layer mask is white the effect is 100% visible when we invert this we can do it by pressing command or control and i as you can see the effect 
the filter that we applied here is not visible. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to keep you with white. I'm going to invert this to the black. Once again, Command and I. And then I'm going to choose a brush and a white color of the brush. And I'm going to paint on the areas that have this dust that needs to be removed, just like this. So as you can see, really easy task to do. We can even increase the threshold for more natural effect and make sure that the edges are not affected badly here. So if we increase the threshold, remember we still can uh, do more work later uh, to make sure uh, all of this look better. So I still will have to clean this up so I can ignore uh, these things. And we'll see threshold 10, maybe too much, maybe eight, still allow me to keep this other parts invisible. As you can see, it perfectly remove the small dust. And this is only one thing I want to remove on this image, this small dust. Other things we can paint over and it's better to spend few minutes extra than removing everything using this technique because this technique is just something that meant to help us uh, with the really um, tiny uh, things that we have like this one here you can see painting over it seems it wasn't pretty much over here here we have dust and it works perfectly. Can it work on this one here? Not too bad, we will have to paint on it later. And the lipstick is perfect. So now this is um, finished work and then I will create a new layer. We'll name this clean number two. I think still I'm really a huge fan of keeping everything as natural as possible. So I keep increasing this dust. And on this another layer, the major things that we are not able to remove because we decided to work more natural, more non-destructive, we can, of course, clean this up now using a healing brush and the clone stamp. Remember that if this is too time taking, uh, we can always just make selection with the pen tool and paint over it to make sure it looks absolutely perfect. But for now, I'm just going to do this few basic moves to remove what I can on this empty layer. So this is it. This is how you remove dust and scratches from the image. This is amazing technique that can be very helpful, but we need to remember to use this carefully.